to the channel, y'all. In this episode, I'm going to share with you guys the Meguiar Smooth Surface Clay Bar Kit. Now, I'm using this with the Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Detailer, Hydrophobic Plumber Technology. I'm using that as a clay lube. Pretty much, you can use any spray detailer that's in the Meguiar's collection as a clay lube. Even if you're using a spray wax, still could be used as a clay lube. Alright, now what I want to see here, the car is freshly clean in this area, as you can see. I want to see how, many, how much contaminants can I pull off the paint using this smooth surface clay bar kit by Meguiar's. And this is the one reason I like clay better than I like those synthetic clay sponges and all that kind of crap that's out now. If I'm a clay bar in my car, I'd rather use the clay, actually. The sponges and the mitts and the towels and all that kind of stuff is just for fast jobs. But you want a thorough cleaning of the paint, you're going to want to use a clay bar kit. You know, clay are a little more aggressive. And it actually is going to pick up more contaminants. And another good thing about clay, you can see the contaminants that you're picking up. I like the synthetic clay bar, clay mitts and the clay sponges and towels and all that kind of crap. You can't see what you're picking up. Alright, so you can, it's possible you can scratch if you can't see. Suppose you got a contaminant stuck up there on a clay bar, you can fold it over to a clean side. But on them synthetic things, you can't really see what's already on it. You know, that's one reason I don't like them too. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to spritz a little bit of the Meguiar's Ultimate Detail on the car here. And we're going to wipe it off. Again, make sure there's no dust or nothing got back up here. Okay, here we go. I'm just doing this to be sure there's no dust here that might have got up here since I watched this area 20 minutes ago. So I freshly cleaned this area, but still could have picked up a little dust from the wind, blowing a little bit or whatever the case might be. You want to make sure it's thoroughly clean and fresh clean, free of all dust and crap. All right. Okay, now I'm going to shoot some up here now and we're going to start the clay process. We're going to see how much, by looking at the paint, you'll think, oh, it looks good. There ain't nothing on that paint. It looks good. To the average Joe, it's going to look good to him. But, you know, you don't know until you start the clay. All right, so let's go ahead on and spritz this area. All right. Clean side to the clay. All right, let's go ahead on and hit it. You don't know what you're going to pick up until you start the clay. Yeah, I can stop and see that I'm picking up light. If you guys can see that, it's picking up light contaminants. See that? If this thing focus in good, you guys can see what I mean. It's picking up light contaminants. Okay, let's hit that, lube it up a little bit more. We're just concentrating primarily on this area of the vehicle. It's like soap. Alright. Okay, so now pretty much I can wipe this, but it is picking up some stuff, as you can see. Right there. 
You know, this is not bad, but it's still picking up some crap. Okay. It's not bad, bad, though. All right. And that's one reason I like the clay the best. Guys, I can see what I'm picking up, you know. You know, if you can't see what you're picking up, you know, you, you don't know what you're picking up. <laughs> All right. So here, as you can see, the shine and lust gonna come out because we're using the detail spray by McGuire's, and this stuff is very hydrophobic and it's superior as well for its protection. You'll see the shine and the gloss just come right out. See that? Much slicker now here. It's real slick now, as you can see. It's well protected. I recommend just do a section at a time if you're trying to clay your whole vehicle. Just do a section at a time, make it easier on you, less marring too. Alright, so the top half right here, we can hit that and see how much contaminants do can we pull. I right, my flip sides. And I'm um, here we go. Yeah. All right, you see here it's picking up even more. See there? Picking up, as you can see, let's get out of white. It's much slicker now. That clay bar lets you know. That's what I like about it, especially the, the McGuire Smooth Surface Clay. And the reason why that is, it's a light color, and I can tell exactly what's hitting the clay. See. That's the difference between that and them synthetic clay bars and synthetic mitts and sponges. Uh, you could drop them and pick them back up and reuse them, but you can't tell the contaminants that you're picking up on them, though, like a clay bar. Especially the McGuire's one, because I can see I can see everything that's hitting this clay bar, see? Everything that hits it, I can see it. That's one reason I prefer the clay over the synthetic mitts and sponges and crap out there. So I just want to share that with you guys to see how many, how much contaminants could I pick up. And you guys see that you can, you know, you can visibly see every little thing that hit the clay ball. You can see it. And you can see the shine and everything. I mean, it just comes right out. So, there you have that. Anyway, guys, um, hope you guys um, enjoyed. If you're new to my channel... Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And until next time, I'll hit you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.